and uh, for the eyes, I um, yeah, I, you know, I, I chose to put some eyes in there actually, <laughs> and um, I looked at uh, the cheetahs and the cat reference for those eyes um, because you don't really see um, that you know the white that we have in uh, our eyes you, you just see black there and just and then just an iris and uh, a set of uh, pupils um, and uh, that I think what's worked really well with this uh, design um, making it look, look uh, really evil and still because if you, if you don't have uh, any uh, pupils or iris in there you know you you don't have as much contact with the creature you know if you don't feel it you can look into its eyes really if it's just white eye sockets you know you're not gonna feel s that connected with it you're not, you're not gonna um, you know the eyes are uh, the, the, the windows to the soul and uh, it it's easier to make the creature uh, express something if it has real eyes, if it has um, pupils and uh, and iris. So th also, so you know, you know where it looks if it looks at you angrily, squinting maybe. Oh, sorry there. Um, I just. Uh, Open the can of Coca-Cola. Sorry. Uh, and by the way, I'm I'm not giving any money for this uh, advertisement, even though I should. <laughs> by the way, you should really buy Artrage. And here I'm just uh, figuring out how the other eye should be. And I thought, you know, since I put the uh, pupils and iris in the other two eyes, this eye should be as it was before, just plain white. You know, just just an eyeball. Because um, if if it's if it uh, was supposed to have uh, iris and pupil in that eye too, uh, you you know you don't know where to look. It would be a bit distracting because you're always looking for the eyes of a a creature or a character. And uh, if it has f uh, two sets of eyes, you know, uh, it's gonna be distracting. You you would not really know where to look. Of course, you would maybe go for the biggest eyes, but still, it would drag some attention, and we don't want that. So just sort of uh, pulling out the um, upper jaw there, just uh, putting in some some value underneath so you can so sort of uh, separate them off <coughs> and you you know while um, sorry while um, uh, rendering uh, this way rendering with a pencil um, I'm, I'm I'm doing this very subtly uh, very uh, carefully um, maybe also because I'm not really sure about the 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 form of this, but um, uh, just to not screw up. So doing this subtly and doing small changes in in value. Um, so I'm on the safe side, and you can see I've also um, made like a center line. Um, for just to see you know how is this head rotated and what is uh what is the center of this face and uh, to see how the um, how this, how the head uh, really curves, how the forehead curves, uh, that's gonna help me a lot when uh, when shading. And you can always remove it later, you know. And uh, you know you can see I've sort of uh, drawn it in already that um, the <coughs> the other eye there the the little eye uh, has sort of this uh, uh, triangular shape underneath it um, uh, pointing towards uh, uh, yeah you know 
the front of the head just to have something more triangular in there you know um, the more triangles in, in your evil design the, the better if you can sneak something in there in the shading and in the rendering you know, you know, do it do it it's gonna feel really un uncomfortable and uh, evil And now already, you know, you can um, you can sort of see how how the how the form of this creature is. You know, f uh, there's a huge difference in um, in uh, in terms of form and shape. You know, if you've just been um, used to uh, doing these line drawings and uh, being concerned about the the shape of the creature, you know, going to form is a whole other deal. You know. Uh, suddenly, you know, you're going from 2D to 3D, and you have to think, okay, can this really work? You know, I've made this a uh, crazy shape. Uh, is it going to work uh, uh, when it gets turned into a form? <coughs> and you know, you can always make it work. Just cheat a little bit. Just um. Yeah, but you know, in this, uh, when 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 getting to this stage, I'm not really thinking that much. Um, um that was more the stage before, like uh, <coughs> when I did the line drawings. I was that was the most. You know, that was when I was concentrating the most, and that's where you should concentrate the most because that's the most important stage of the design. Um. But here I'm just really when just shading, you know. Um, my brain is on like uh, fifty percent power, you know. Um, um, it's more like a feel, you know. You have to feel how how is this uh, form and uh, how should it feel, you know. And but then also, you know, sometimes you have to think, okay. Okay, so how should it be like I on the inside of the ear here? And um, there, I actually looked at um, the reference from the bats up there in the left corner. That they have these um, these uh, lines inside of the ears. These sort of uh, yeah, I don't know what it's called in English actually. Rilla <laughs> in Danish. Um, Yeah, but you can you can kind of see it. They have these sort of patterns, which looks really nice and works. I thought it worked well for this character, this creature. It's really it's r small things like that that uh, makes the uh, makes the design feel real, you know. And then th and that's the thing I was talking about in, in the beginning. Um, uh, I'm having these really 2D kind of shapes, these uh, uh, really strong uh, silhouette shapes, and then um, when going into detail and when going into rendering, uh, you know, I'm thinking about this really realistic stuff, or realistic stuff, but maybe not realistic stuff, but you know, I'm getting uh, stuff from the the real world and from real animals, and that's just you know that makes it feel real and makes it uh, feel like it could fit into this fantasy place and not being too too stylized and not being too you know it's still stylized but n not too much and here I'm shading in um, the other ear and um Making it a bit more, a bit, bit darker, so you can sort of pull it into the background there, making uh, the rest of the heads stand out a bit more. So, so you can really, you can make a lot of uh, depth in the in 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 the shading. 
uh, I'm not really doing it that much. I'm not pushing it uh, as far as I could. Because I think uh, it's also because I'm using uh, this, this pencil brush. Uh, sometimes I think when going too dark with pencils, you know, it uh, it, it can get too, too grainy and uh, not look that good, really. But this subtle shading, uh, for this subtle shading, it, it works well. I think. 